Nobody does it like me, or should I say, nobody does it worse than me when it comes to shooters. I have to tell you, I am the worst when it comes to shooters. I do have Battlefield 4 on the PlayStation 4, and I've played Call of Duty. Uh, I've played Combat Arms on the PC. i played Call of Duty on the PC. But of course, you know, even though I was pretty good at those games on the computer, it's kind of like cheating, right? You're aiming with your mouse, and it's not really the same. So playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 on the Xbox 360, that was uh, a shock because I was so good in the PC that I was like, man, I, I started using the controller and my aiming was just terrible. I love Battlefield 4 on the PlayStation 4. I think the graphics are amazing. I love the whole concept behind it. It's a lot of fun, even though my kill-death ratio is like a 0.52. I'm just really, really bad. I also don't really understand guns or anything like that. Uh, I don't know. I'm Canadian. Guns aren't really part of our culture. It's definitely not part of mine, so I don't know anything about them. I don't know anything about perks. I don't know anything about classes or secondary weapons. Or I'm the kind of guy where I'll get in Battlefield and I'll just pick whatever gun it gives me for the most part and just I don't even play with anyone so I just kind of run around by myself uh, which apparently you're not supposed to do in those games you're kind of supposed to go in a pack and I'm, of course I'm playing against people that are in clans or groups or whatever it is that you want to call them and I, I just get pulverized but with that said I do love the game now when it comes to Titanfall which is the game we're looking at here on the Xbox One uh, I saw the preview of it I kind of was looking at a video on YouTube and I'm just not a sci-fi or fantasy guy. I don't like robots or zombies or vampires or anything that's unrealistic, like Game of Thrones, uh, any vampire movies or shows, whatever that popular show is, Zombieland or something that's on TV. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. It's very popular. I just I have no interest in that stuff. So my first thought about this game was that this game is going to suck. Um, but then, I, of course, the beta came out, and it was free for everyone to give it a try. And I thought, well, I might as well give it a shot, right? I was going to put it on the channel whether I liked it or not, just give my own opinion about it like I am now. And to my surprise, I actually love this game, and 100% I'm buying this on day one. I can't wait for this to come out. Uh, it's going to launch with Twitch on March 11th for the Xbox One. Um, so I'm definitely excited about it. And I think one of the things that I liked about the game so much was um and if you're like me where you suck you you are terrible at shooters when it comes to using a controller um maybe you're good with a mouse like i was but when it comes to using a controller you're, you're just brutal the gun that they give you here uh the gun that you see me using it actually really helps out terrible players like me uh like here i had a really successful round and in all the time that i played the beta and i played it a good amount i, I just i wasn't terrible like i was in battlefield or in call of duty on the xbox 360 or on the playstation 4 or anything like that um i was doing pretty well so you know anytime you're gonna do well it's like you know you're gonna like something a little better like here take a look i mean this gun just allows me to basically just spray left to right up down and just I'm the kind of guy where I need to use a lot of bullets. You know what I mean? Like, I need to be, if you're dodging bullets and, and being all ADD on me, like, jumping all over the place, like, here, I need to be able to just, like, just constantly just fire, fire, fire. And that's what I like about this gun. It allows me to do that. Uh, if I'm not on target, which is majority of the time, like I said, I can just kind of spray around and, and, and get a kill. Uh, but really, the thing that's so great about this game is it's just different i mean yeah there's a lot of different games you know the different concepts like halo is is a whole different animal than a call of duty or a battlefield or whatever people love battlefield compared to call of duty because you can get in planes and cars and trucks and boats and and all this kind of stuff which is definitely cool um but it's just the way that you can go around and jump on walls and do double jumps you know be in midair and then do another jump to get to the next building uh, the big titans that you have to kill, the fact that you can become a titan. Um, even though, as I'm actually playing this particular match, this was like the third time that I played the beta, I had no clue that I could become a titan. Just no clue whatsoever. Um, but the reason I'm showing this is because, well, one, you're going to see how terrible I am. I'm very slow. 
Um, the way I move around, I kind of try to hide. I'm like, ah, don't get me, don't get me. Or I try to like, you know, sneak around and hope that I can basically get sneaky kills, right? Um, I'm, and I'm just really slow. I, I believe like people that play these games, man, if you're really good, like I've always thought you must have ADD or something like that. Just to be constantly on the go, looking from left to right to behind you and in front of you and just kind of, because you have to, you basically have to know your surroundings. And I think my biggest problem is I never look at the map. Like, see the map up in the top left corner? Yeah, there's a guy. It shows that there's red guys coming near me. I never look at that. I'm the kind of guy, I'll play Battlefield, right? I just play by myself. Uh, everyone else is in groups or clans or whatever it is you want to call it. And I'm just playing by myself, running around, just kind of getting killed at every turn because everyone's, like, talking to each other. They know where I am. And that's just really not how I play. But here... I played on my own and I had success so that's one of the reasons I liked it I know there's a lot of people out there that are like me you know maybe you don't really know people that like to play these games or maybe you're the only person that has your Xbox or your PlayStation and um, you know you just really don't have anyone to play this type of game with you know I'm a Madden player I got tons of people that I can play that with nobody that I play this with so it's hard when you kind of got to run around and you're just by yourself. But as you can see here, I'm just doing my own thing. And I haven't been even killed yet. There it says I'm, you know, prepare for Titan. I had no clue how to do it. Uh, anything like that. And I'm just kind of, you know, being scared, like I said right here. Just trying to get these cheap little kills. In my mind, I'm thinking, man, I haven't even died yet. And I got, like, what, four or five kills? Like, I'm doing pretty good. You know, I'm actually having a lot of fun with it. Um, I love the maps. I just feel like there's so many nooks and crannies. Uh, and again, we just spray all over the place. Finally get the kill. That's what I love about it, man. I just love that I know that I'm terrible. But hey, it makes it more fun that I can still get kills no matter how bad I am. And look at all these little nooks and crannies underneath and downstairs. And it's just a lot of places to go or hide or just kind of get away from things. You know, I don't know. I just, I love the game. Uh, and... As an Xbox One user and a PlayStation 4 user, uh, you know, Twitch has been on the PlayStation 4, and it hasn't really been that great for me. Uh, not really the best experience. It's just like every time I stream, it seems like the screen goes gray on Twitch, where a lot of the people, like, I'm only one of the few people that in the Madden community that I play with that has a PlayStation 4. Um, so I try to stream for the Xbox guys, and the stream doesn't really work out that well. So... When they launch Titanfall on March 11th, I'm definitely going to be picking it up. But they're also going to be launching Twitch on the Xbox One. It looks pretty good. Uh, Larry Erb, the guy that um, is actually one of the Microsoft dudes or whatever, I follow him on Twitter. I just happened to watch one of the streams that he did, and the quality is actually pretty good. Apparently, unlike the PlayStation 4, um, you can actually choose the quality of your upload or something. Like, it asks for your download speed, or you can set it, or it... It tests your speed and stuff like that, and you can uh, just kind of choose your quality or something like that. That's what I heard him say in the video. And the video I saw of him doing it, it was actually pretty good. The only downside was apparently right on the screen, when you're streaming, it's going to show broadcasting and it's going to show viewers. And it's going to show how many viewers at the bottom of the screen over the gameplay. As you see right there, I should have been toast. Killed a grunt. I, I had no idea at this point what a grunt was. I thought, yeah, I just killed some dude, whatever. He's trying to kill me, and I just turned around and got him. Had no idea how terrible they were, but look at me. I'm hiding. I'm just like, oh, my God, this match has got to be over really soon. Please, I don't want to die. I haven't died yet. Don't die. That's all I'm doing. Like, this is how terrible I am. I'm afraid. I just, for once in my life, this is the best I've ever done in a shooter, and that is pathetic. But I have yet to die, and I love it. So Titanfall is a great game. If you're a bum like me, you definitely got to pick this game up. It is a lot of fun. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.